oh, where it is. Yeah, like you said, the get that Leona. So, can, I mean, the okay, with the Nar as well, now the, we yeah. do have a couple more engage options. But again, we're not quite competing with the Maokai, so we got to make sure that we get max value out of that uh, out of that Nar engage, right? If it's just the Leona looking for things, it's probably not going to go too well. So we'll keep, uh, we need to make sure that we're timing around that Nar bar nicely. I mean, Milio hover, uh, it's not a bad pick. A quarter is yeah. pretty strong on the champion as well. So it will get locked in. Milio Ash, I mean, <laughs> you're really not going to be able to escape these auto attack slows. Yeah, so that does not look like a particularly fun lane to have to go up against. But we don't. They do. So, you know, best of luck to Zero Tenacity on that one because it could get pretty dicey pretty quickly. But if they can not get themselves like poked out at the start, if they can deal with that harass, Maybe we can find a couple engages, but it's probably going to come down to some jungle diff. We're probably going to need to see uh, to see that brand come on down eventually, because otherwise you are just slowly going to get whistled out. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of these teams and just how they've done in the season so far, like we were mentioning, both 4-0 map-wise and 2-0 series-wise in the EPL so far, they haven't been able to play in their regular leagues since, um, both of them coming from the Ultra Liga, so neither of them facing off against any of their Ultra Liga opponents. Since EPL has started, I believe they do have games mm. very soon, but not quite yet. You mentioned Mike just got just a flash. the flash. Does do so to be safe. But now the collapse. Good from him, but yeah, a counter collapse coming in from Kofte and Erdote on to Shazku. He W's out, but he's taking so much damage. Ooh. The fourth Jin shot doesn't quite get the kill, and it will be Kofte actually finding himself in a precarious situation. Has to flash away. Lothan is slowing him with these autos, but they're not doing One any more. damage. Lothan can't get in. He's stopped by Erdote, and this might just be a kill going the way of Zero Tenacity. No, it will be a flash away by the Ash. Blizzard trying to find the damage. Ooh. Oh, the burn on the Maokai. And the tree goes down the forest fire, and it will be another one falling. Brand with the first two kills of this game. I, uh... <laughs> In the best of situations, had to flash away from Lothan, but... In the end, it works out, and Blue Resort flexing his lead Ooh. very well. Solar Flare is available for Adote. Lothan doesn't have flash or cleanse, and the E lands. The Solar Flare should be soon to follow up. Nope, Lothan doesn't even need Ooh. to get caught by it. Just CC'd for eternity. Not at the end of the end of the world, even for Shazka in this one, like he can get back into it. The bigger problem is just the fact there's so much money on the brand who's looking to finish their second item in the first 16 minutes. You know, he comes out, he clears these. And oh, good Lord, oh one my more. Goodness, the flash forward, the Ooh. auto, Melodic. I don't do it to him, man. I mean, yeah, we're talking about Blue Resort items, but that was a finished Triforce as well. Melodic had managed to get probably many, in many. a bad spot as the dive will come through oh and the turret goodness. will fall as well. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna hit the turret first. They don't care. <laughs> the turret oh. ends up going down, so shall Sazif, and it nearly a kill trade back on the cough today, but won't be able to get that one for himself in the mid lane. Best misses is. that E. Yeah, but looks like it is gonna be oh, an engage nah. coming out from Zero Tenacity. Melanic can look can with the Mega R. It Ooh. did jump in, but a good disengage coming out from Shasky means that he might be the only one to fall. A good little bit of damage collected by Sazif, actually gonna deter Zero Tenacity from looking any further. They only get the tree, but it is a one for none. Oh, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, they get a kill out of it, but lovely, cute, lovely Bramble oh, Smash. Wait, they oh, they get two. Zip is just <laughs> dead. Oh, big shield. Oh, I don't think it's enough, Brand. though. Oh, yeah, the oh my just, goodness. It keeps going. It's just gonna keep reapplying, isn't it? <laughs> Somewhere, but back to the game. Might just get punished themselves. Mm. It will be a flash away from Cozy and... They Ooh. might be able to find Harpoon. Back to the game, looking on to the ADC of Zero Tenacity. He has no flash. He has no cleanse left available. He has the force shot, but it's not going to be enough movement speed. He will go down to Lothan. Lothan might be able to pick up another kill here onto Erdote with no way out either. Oh, a couple Kofta. more autos should do the trick. It will be a second kill picked up, and will they be able to get out with their lives, though? Back to the game is down. Two members dead. The game can Bring. do here. They spot it out. They do know. Obviously, maybe can Shaska I mean, get close, but... Erdote here, like, they have a Baron... On God, their they back, just, like they just don't kill him. The He's so high. The Baron, and they might just have to. Then Jankos oh. will land the way follow up damage. But oh, as we were no. mentioning, the brand burn, it's just a dead Shazku. And back to the game, trying to fight off the back of it. Blue Resort is doing damage. Oh. Will have to flash away. Lothan looking for a oh. little bit more follow up. Will get the kill. And so much damage going on to Lothan towards the later stages of this game. But Melanic in the bot side gets a kill for himself. And I mean, Zero Tenacity not wanting to let back to the game back. They want to let that Nar get that inhibitor turret. 
And they are going to keep fighting. Oh, Kofte engages on Lothan. Lothan doing One so more. much damage. Back! It will be a kill claimed! And barely Kofte oh. will be able to walk away with his life. Melanit gets the inhibitor turret. And Zero Tenacity still walking away with the skin of their teeth. To engage. I mean, the thing is, like, the Renekton is, let's be honest, a bit useless here. Oh, oh the ult comes on through. Can he connect it? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it was not even the fourth shot, it was the second. It gets the kill onto the way. Melanic with a clean disengage, able to knock back multiple members of back to the game. Oh, Cozy trying to find the re-engage, but Kofte is here <laughs> to do the damage and is just gonna die. Cozy oh. with a flash forward does get the kill secured, but Lothan is next on the chopping block here for zero tenacity. One will more. end up going down to Melanic, but Melanic will die. Erdote engages onto Akor there, and Harpoon should be able to pick up this kill. And it might just be the game here for Zero Tenacity at 24 minutes here in game one of this best of two series. Yeah, no, that is just going to be it. Wow, Zero Tenacity just walking it on through. Nobody manages to finish the game with a perfect KDA, unfortunately for them. But it was pretty much a perfect game. I mean, just a domination across the board. We have top lane getting, you know, four plates just sort of by themselves. For me, is that, like, the, the plan falls, we played very average, we played very standard, and then had that, like, that brand going crazy with it. Uh, taking over from the jungle that's very much an option here but it's something that back to game have been like planning about and playing for and maybe through like azir they're going to have enough mid pro so i kind of like that the drafts look the same uh, up until this point and then once we got through was once things like you know brand and nidley have been banned uh zero's nest go haha it's a trick and they bust out the elites and now they're playing they're <laughs> going to play a completely different style yeah. uh, than something that back to game have prepared for yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, it's going to be interesting because, like you said, it is completely different from the style that we've seen. This looks like a very aggressive team comp, right? You have pushing lanes. You have uh, Camille that can go nuts to butts with that Cassante up towards the top side, and uh, Elise, a champion that wants to dominate early, wants to get mm -hmm. these ganks off, wants to get ahead. Obviously not too upset about farming either, right? Going to be strong mm -hmm. once she has her AP items as well. But on the opposite side, I mean, it's back to the game developing as well. Right? for some and reason, but this, this is not... Maybe he has the outplay of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. Oh, the jump! Oh, the, the shield! Oh, the hexagon the it was enough to get the kill! And he will still. even live! He's gonna walk away! No. And Blue Resort is here! Shaskyu is just gonna end up in the grave as well! And what an kidding? insane outplay coming oh. up from Melanic that kills even donated to the mid laner! What a monster of a top laner! This has oh, been all over the map, he's doing all sorts. He's still thinking about this dive. If Shazka had been doing this last game, he would be down 50 CS by oh now. Goodness, oh, the hook actually connected. Onto a corner. He doesn't have ult. Oh, that was a really even in range. good cocoon coming out from Blue Resort. And I mean, in the oh, top side, a again. pixel perfect hexagon to meet him yet again. And it will be another Bye. kill for Melanic. Cozy, oh. you can't catch a break up here. Oh, that's He's in the so much He's on the damage, way. man. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous, Shaskyu just has to walk away. Cozy is engaging, but they don't know Elise is here as well. And Shaskyu maybe oh, gonna no. get dove underneath the turret on the opposite side. Yes. Okay, the cocoon slightly goes wide, but it is a kill going the way of Blue Resort and Cozy, not even making a dent in that health bar for Melanic. That was insane. Just how much damage was going through there, because you know you're Sejuani. You think you're tanky, but uh, you know aftershock passive doesn't matter. That's a true damage. Triforce proc right there, and that is going to be five grubs to match the five kills that Zero Tenacity have. And oh, it's it's just so rough. I mean, Shaska can't get anything, can't get can't get a foothold in this game. Gives those over, and now what's the plan? I mean, like, it, it, the, I guess my question here is, oh god, no, oh Melonic, he's doing it again. We don't even need to commentate because uh, he's just dead. Surely, he... uh, is using all out. Might actually be able to find his way out of this one, but. It looks like Melnick does want to die. The flash forward, the Q, oh, and does maybe? mana. Oh, no. uh, but he is very I've strong. I've seen win these. He has <laughs> so many items. We have seen him win these. Seen, I haven't he seen him no win mana, this one. He has no mana, and he has a jungler in the area. Oh. It will be a shutdown onto the chicken. Sazif is able to pick that one up. Will Blue Razor actually even be able to fight him on the run? Oh, no. Sazif still has the stream of shuffle. Doesn't have flash, though. We'll have to see if he's able to get oh. the kill onto the spider. Yes, he is. And that is going to be two kills picked up by the back-to-the-game mid laner. Oh, <laughs> you'd like to see a little bit more uh forces if they're like now he's just even but if you do that again then we're gonna actually have a point of strength for back to the game which is something they haven't really had all series now. oh my goodness wait hold on melanic no put me like oh under tire but... so much damage oh, that's to the e forward, and it's actually a kill for cozy finally winning one back after so long losing out in this top side if you're behind, you think, okay, well, let's not fight when we're weak, but then you're going to give up the Drake and you'll be even weaker relative. So they just go for it. They're just going to take the fight. Yeah, Corder finds the engage on the Oh, God. But he's just going to get deleted. The Alistar ult does buy a little bit of time. 
The low health bar, nonetheless, it is back to the game on the retreat. A quarter trying to get away. You have a Camille oh, no. in your backline. You have a Sisyph just dead on the dragon. Two more to follow. A cow and a chicken in the bag. Can Zero Tenacity find any more? It will be a Camille Hextech ultimatum onto the pig. And that is three farm animals dead. Not too long. And then Cozy falls as well. And Zero Tenacity mopping the floor with back to the game. Good lord, I mean, you see the attempt, you see what the- Oh, it's not looking good for Ezreal, it's- uh, he's, he's, he's gone ace. down. So like, here, this is the best we're gonna get, but it feels so bad, the fight goes so poorly, and uh, everything just goes over in favor of Zero Tenacity there. Okay, but Cozy trying to scruffle with Melanic, is taking so much damage, but has Lothan on the back, and Melanic just gonna try and disengage while still doing so much I think much he just damage. wins this, Dude, this Kassante, yeah, he can win. It's a 1v2. Kassante, maybe even look for Lothan, Lothan is in- the area, Hextech oh. Ultimatum not quite available though for Mel Melanic. Ooh. Ooh, he's still trying to hammer down on this top lane turret, trying to pick up as many structures as they can, like we mentioned. Oh, it looks like it will be a streamer shuffle, but a buffer oh. nonetheless from Kofte, and that is not going to be a Detris on him just yet. That Nautilus hook not quite landing onto a corridor, and Adote just going to walk away. Harpoon still trying to find an engage, and Melanic into oh. the enemy team gets one with the Elise to follow up, and that's Azir in the grave, a corridor on the run. That just push out Shazka. We'll grab one in him here. Probably gonna get the bot lane one as well. Actually, no, everyone moves up to reinforce the top side. That's a dead scissor. Yeah, he's oh gone. My goodness. <laughs> oh no. I mean, there's no way to fight back here. Melanic is too strong, but is gonna be to tossed into the members of the enemy team. We'll have to eat out. And I mean, it doesn't look like Zero Tenacity want to give up this fight just yet. It is a 4v5. They still have the numbers mm -hmm. advantage. They are low on mana for Erdote as well as HP bars, low than. Doing a lot of damage to that backline. Kofte gonna have to rocket jump oh. out. Camille is gonna be getting that bottom inhibitor uh, though while we're watching this fight. And uh, turret does go down. Lothan just gets melted. Harpoon is not somebody you can just ignore. This guy is strong as well. We forget about it as we're watching Melanic and Blue Resort run this map. Cozy is trying to do his best against this Camille, but it is the top side that you need to worry about, bro. Three inhibitors down. Zero Tenacity can walk away or they can try and walk away with the game right here. Oh. It is gonna be an engage from a quarter, a triple okay. knock up. A lot of damage going down onto Zero Tenacity, but so much return to Blue Resort, able to disengage Melanic, finding damage onto Sizif. It is such a low Azir, it is a dead Azir. It will be a kill picked up by Kofte. Another rocket jump in. Uh, is, oh. Kassante is dead. Alistar is dead. Back to the game is getting back to the loading screen here. Oh, Zero Tenacity maybe actually might. Oh, it's such a scary position to be in. Lothan trying to find the damage, but the Sejuani is dead. Your Imagine team you is in the grave. And Lothan, you are not going to be able to save this game from the clutches oh. of Zero Tenacity. Oh, it's it's just painful for back to the game. That I mean.